I am Anil Kumar and here is a thinking test question. I have seen this question as a communication question also in the test papers, a very important question. So I like you to pause the video, carefully sketch the diagram given here and find the missing side X, right? So that is side EA is what you need to find. So we are given a quadrilateral with different sets of angles and a triangle in between. The question is find the side length X in the given figure. Okay, let's see how to find. Now in such a case, you should carefully see from where to start. That is kind of important. Also note that angle B, we have here 90 degrees, correct? So see that mark. So all these small things help you to solve the question. If you miss any one of them, you cannot really solve this question. Okay, so let's begin by finding first this angle B, right? So this angle is how much? So we say angle EBD should be equals to 180 degrees minus 65 degrees minus 55 degrees. Since we have a triangle EBD and sum of angles in a triangle is always 180. So we do 180 minus 65 minus 55 equals to 60 degrees. Use your calculator. Okay, 60 degrees. So we get 60 degrees here. Now we are given that is 90 degrees this is 60 degrees so this has to be 180 degrees so let me write down the steps yeah angle dbc is equals to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees minus 90 degrees that is 30 degrees correct because this is a linear pair these are angles in a triangle and this is a straight line okay so that is why correct so we get 30 degrees for this perfect now we can find that angle, correct? So if we will say angle B D C equals to 180 degrees minus 30 degrees minus 115 degrees. Okay. So this time we have 180 take away 30 take away 115 equals to 35 degrees. Okay, 35 degrees. So let's write down 35 degrees. So slowly we have got all the angles, right? So this angle you could also write, which is 20 degrees. Since this is 90, 70 plus 20 is what we know, correct. Now, since we know all this, which, which side is given to us? Okay, I forgot to write, we are given DC which is 19 centimeters so this is 19 centimeters side given to us okay I forgot that I'm putting it now so it is given to us we are given DC equals to 19 centimeters perfect now let's continue okay since we know that the side DC is 19 centimeters we can actually find side DB right and then once we find side db, so we have to basically find x. So we have to move in this direction. So to find side db, we can use sine law. So okay, so we will say db over sine of 115 degrees should be equal to, so that is db over this side is equals to side given to us, which is 19 over sine of 30 degrees. So from here we say db is equals to sine of 115 times 19 over, so that is one thing, right, over sine of 30 degrees, correct? So that is how we can find db. So let's use calculator and say, well, we have sine of 115 times 19 divided by sine of 30. So we get 34.439. So this is 34.4396. Take four decimal places to begin with, right? Because ultimately there will be a lot of approximation to be done, right? So we know this, which is 34.4396. Okay. Now in this particular triangle, let us find that side okay so we will use again a sine law and find 
the other side which in this case is let's find EB so EB over angle opposite to EB is 55 sine of 55 equals to now we know BD which is 34.4396 divided by 65 sine 65 right so EB is equals to we have to multiply these two 34.4396 this value is already in the calculator times sine 55 divided by sine of 65 degrees right so we already have 34.43 whatever times sine of 55 divided by sine of 65 so this is 31.1277 okay so we have this side which is 31.1277 now you need to find x so again this is a right triangle you can use x is your hypotenuse if you look from this it doesn't look like since the diagram is not that perfectly made so x is your hypotenuse in this right triangle and you know the side which is adjacent to 20 or you can say opposite to 70 you could use any of these ratios now correct so you could use this side as as opposite to 70 degrees or adjacent to 20 degrees either one can help you find the solution right so so what do you prefer I'll do one way you do the other way okay so in this case what I will do here is I will write as sine of 70 degrees is equals to opposite side over hypotenuse which is 31.1277 divided by the hypotenuse which is x so we'll cross multiply say x is equals to 31.1277 divided by sine of 70 degrees and that is how we'll find right so so I, I erase this number which I should not have let me write down again 31.1277 divided by sine of 70 right that gives you the answer which is 33.125 now sometimes you'll know side length to be given in now since we are given 19 centimeter here it's a good idea to write your answer in whole number so we'll write 33 centimeters do you get the idea so we get answer as x is equals to 33 centimeter I hope that helps correct right? so go through this method how we started from what was given to us and found all these different angles and sides to get to the result I hope that helps thank you and all the best